Howdy, howdy, Chris here, and in today's episode of Garage Noise, we're going to talk about feather edging paint, how to go about it, why you should do it, and what it will prevent. Feather edging paint is a technique that's used to sand out damaged paint and make a smooth transition from the repair area into the old paint. What we have here is a repair that we see a lot of. It's got a, had a light impact on the rear bumper, and it's cracked and started peeling the paint. Now this bumper has been painted several different times, so it has a thick edge of paint. So we want to feather edge this out so we have a smooth transition into the rest of the bumper from the repair area to the rest of the bumper. So I'm starting out with my orbital sander and some 320 grit sandpaper. We're going to see how this feathers out with some 320. You could start with 180. It's a little bit coarser. It may be a little bit quicker. And if you wanted to do it by hand, I would definitely probably start out with 180. A good rule of thumb is to use the less aggressive sandpaper first. Try that out, and if it doesn't sand it out like you want, then move to a more aggressive sandpaper. The reason we do that is because you have to remove those aggressive scratches. So I'm, I'm using 180. I have to remove those 180 grit scratches in order to get it down to 320 and ready for primer. The proper way to remove cracked paint is to take it down, in this case, to the bumper plastic. Now, if you're working on a body panel that's metal, you want to take it down to the metal. You don't want to just sand the surface of that crack and prime over it. Even if it's flat and smooth, that micro crack could show up later on in your repair. Because what happens is the primer will sit in that, it'll shrink, and then later on down the road you may see it under your paint or clear. One thing to be aware of on a repair such as this, where there's a rear bumper impact, is spider cracking. So outside of the damaged, the main damaged area, there's going to be minor cracks that occur in the rest of the paint. You want to make sure you address those, get those taken out now. There's a couple reasons we want to sand this paint out smooth and feather edge this out. And one reason is we want it to be flat, so when we apply our primer, it's easy to block out and get straight. But the other reason is we want to prevent something called mapping, which is when you apply your 2K primer and it lays in that hard edge of that paint and it shrinks in that and it'll show up underneath your paint, underneath your clear coat and in your repair. It'll be like a halo around your repair and you want to eliminate that. So feather edging the paint out is gradually knocking down those layers of paint until it's a smooth transition. Now how I like to do it is I just use my DA and I tilt it just a tad and lift up the rear edge of it away from the crack. And then I'll gradually use the front edge of that DA and feather that back until it's a smooth transition. And then I'll lay my DA flat and smooth over the whole area. That'll get you a good feather edged paint for your primer. So if we take a look at this paint, right on the edge you can see the different layers of paint you've got a primer you've got a couple different layers of paint and all those layers build up a hard edge so what you want to do is gradually take the top layer off and then the next layer back until it's smooth and it's a smooth transition into the old paint i like to feather edge paint is i will sand and i will tilt my da i'm not going to hold it flat at first i'm going to tilt it just a tad and get this edge of this DA to start working back the edge of the paint. And we're going to gradually smooth this out till where it looks like this. And then after I've got it smoothed out, I will go over it holding it flat and that will help to level it out just a little bit before I put some, in this case, primer over this. So that's how you feather edge paint. If you're new to the channel or have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this content and you found it helpful, please like, subscribe, share this video, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.